I don't think it's <laughs> weak. Alright, we're heading home from the game. And I've got a whole carload of screaming girls. <laughs> except Isaac's a boy. Oh, He's yeah. not screaming. So, uh, who else is going to Hannah's house? Me. me. Alright. <laughs> Who's me? Yeah, Hannah's not? Maybe. 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 Okay. Alright, well, I'm going to drop Emma off at her house. Is your mom going to take you over there? Uh, if you go? Yes. Okay. Because yeah. I'm on a mission. Alright, so, well, you know, Emma, you were out walking in the middle of the night when you were very, very, very young. Yeah. Wait, I have a question. Yeah. And the police picked you up, I believe. I have a question. Yes, they did. Are you going to upload this tonight? <laughs> Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day today, an awesome day. Um, I didn't think I was going to, but it turns out I am. Had a... Got to bed a little bit late last night. Got up this morning and had Trevor off at 5 o'clock in the morning to go to Tahlequah to play tennis. Then I got back home and I only had 45 minutes till I had to wake up Isaac and get him off to the academics, uh, state academic meet for the 6th and 7th grade today. So back to back weekends on academic meets and getting up early and well I'm having a good day despite having to get up that early after staying up too late. So I'm hoping Isaac is still out with his buddy over at the park and Trevor's not back yet. I'm hoping he gets back pretty soon because we want to take him out for his birthday tonight. So, we'll see how that goes. But right now, I, I even walked over here and told you guys I was going to hook up the battery charger the other day to the lawnmower, and I totally forgot to do it. So, I'm going to do that now. And at the same time, you see the dark clouds moving in behind me. we got a storm coming, so hopefully that's not going to be a big issue. A lot of work to do, and well, I got the weekend. So, other than Trevor's birthday party, which is going to be awesome. I have nothing else to do. It's the weekend. All right, I just walked into my house, and I was walking back to the bedroom. And I heard something go, Wee! boom. So I came back into the living room to see what the heck it was, because it was a really weird noise. And looky there. This frame, which is usually sitting right here on the shelf, just like that, See how much of a lip there is? It flew off the shelf just now. So I don't know about you, but that's pretty weird. Isaac just showed up. Hello. Hi Isaac. Hello. Did you win your competition? Yep. Oh. Bye, Casey. Okay, I'm here on the porch with Isaac too. I'm gonna fill him in and you guys in at the same time. Alright. So uh I'm over in my shop a while ago, and I'm trying to figure out, I can't remember what I was looking for, I forgot, because this, this problem has just really peaked, and I'm about sick at my stomach over it, because I'm really mad. There is a rat, or something, up in my shop, my wood shop, like up where the, um, the ceiling is, because I've got insulation and everything in there, and it's beeping, and it's moving. It's going beep, 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 and moving around in the ceiling. And so it's got to be a rat that has eaten something that's beeping or a battery's low or something. It is, it's moving all over the building, and it's driving me insane. Mm -hmm. So I've got to come up with some kind of contraption. I need to capture the rat, not just um, bang, bang. make it go bye-bye. I, I need to capture it to make sure the beeping stops, because if the beeping's not the rat... Then I'm going to have to take the whole ceiling apart and figure out what is beeping in my ceiling because it is about to drive me crazy. Okay, which leads me to my other story. My mom calls me every night about the time she goes to bed. And she's like, I'm going to bed. I'll see you in the morning. I'm like, see you in the morning. And she goes to bed. Well, the other day she calls me back and she's like, did we just have an earthquake? And I'm looking up at the bottles of water on the cabinet and they're not shaking. So I'm like, well... We didn't out here because the bottles of water aren't moving. And I just let it go. And she's like, well, my bed shook me out of bed. And I went down in the basement yesterday. That's probably Trevor getting here. And I went down in the basement yesterday. And the, the heart and the cross, those are things that she, they're like wire frames that she puts out at the uh, my grandpa and grandma's uh, burial site. That sounds like Noah's car leaving. The Trevor must be here. So, we're on the back porch, Trevor. 
Yeah, back porch. Yeah, it's in. And um, so those were turned upside down in this heavy, like, probably 60-pound old typewriter was laying in the middle of the floor. It had come off a shelf and flown across the room and landed in the floor. But it didn't break. It's like it was gently set over there. So that was really weird. So we've got the drum right in we're going to have to investigate. We've got my mom's house, which is Grandma Karen we're going to have to investigate. And then we may have to do some investigation here at my house, which I do not like to investigate where I live because I don't want to know what all's going on when I'm asleep. But we're going to find out. But now, bringing you to this point... Trevor made it back. Yeah. How'd you do today? Uh, we won two games. You and Golden won two games? Yeah, but there were six games. There was actually 12 games, or 13 games in each set, so. In each set? Yeah, and we only won two, like, two matches. So what's a set? Games, like, 13. a set is like, I'm gonna stand up because the lighting like really. So there we go. Six uh, games in a set. Yeah. So we had to play like four sets. Okay. So then we. So then we uh, won two games. So you won two. No, not two sets. Two games. Two games. Out of. Out of six sets. Or twelve sets. Twelve sets. Well, at least you didn't lose them all. You weren't yeah. swept. Not 12 sets, like 3 sets. I don't, I don't know. Alright, next question. Next question. Who do you want to go for dinner tonight? Birthday boy's choice. Can we go to Stillwater? Yeah, we can go anywhere. Alrighty. There's a storm about mahogany. to hit. They don't have mahogany in Stillwater. Yeah, and we don't have enough money to flex to go to mahogany. No, we don't. No. We don't have that kind of flex money. Uh, let's go to... Let's go to Olive Garden. Olive Garden? Yeah. Alright, I'll notify your mother. Alright. <laughs> yeah, look at our professional umpire association out there. It's turning around like it. Yeah, I got it. I'm on you right now. Yeah, I'm getting it. <laughs> I got it all. I get on base as soon as you get back over there. Man, dude, do you have a magnet on? <laughs>
Because your birthday is such an important day, son, it's a good time to say that from the moment you were born, you made life so much happier just by being your amazing self. Love you, happy birthday, love mom and dad. What's up? Uh, blue face. That's, a, uh, that's a Uncle Ben right there. Wait, Trevor, did you find that on the couch? That's my last night. Whoa! You're a wonderfully witty, totally brilliant, sometimes silly. Always charming, very good looking grandson. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's all right. That's all. That's all right. Oh, my goodness. Who is living proof that the apple never falls too far from the tree? Boy. Happy, happy birthday with love. Love you much, Papa. Oh, my gosh. What came in that one? Okay, Bye -bye. Trevor just opened his cards. What do you say his money is as good as a gift? Yeah. Alright, well we are in Stillywate, Oklahoma at Olive Garden waiting on Trevor to put his shoes on uh -huh. so that we can go in for his birthday dinner at Olive Garden in Stillwater. Uh, we're at Olive Garden with the birthday boy. What do you got to drink there, Trevor? Uh, what, what do you have to drink? Kiwi Limonada. What? Kiwi Limonada. He thinks he's Limonada. Is that like a Luminati type drink? Alright. Alright. Turn the camera on. Hi, Trevor. Make a wish. Foundation. I wish and you're gonna donate addict. to him. I wish drug addicts the best. In speedy recovery. In rehab. Hey, 
Maggie. Uh, we're, we're out here on the scene with Kai and Braden where they have managed to bury her truck. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 gonna be able to get in front of her. No, we're gonna have to just back it and pull it that way or try to. Unless you wanna well there's no way to get around it. Alright, I'll be back with you guys in a moment. Alright, let's go a little bit further. Alright, stop. Yeah. Now you can pull up a little bit. I don't think it will. Yeah, we're good. Huh? Boom. What? Huh? I know. Trevor, get the chains back in the truck. Dad, you're gonna have to back All right. Okay. Here, take this. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed all the parts of this video. That's it for tonight. And uh, we're gonna say goodnight. And subscribe if you haven't. Hit that like button down there. Leave me a comment in the comments below. And follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.